He attacks, throws it into the corner. Anxious to see where the ball goes in terms of attacking the Baylor zone. Little inside out. Thomas misses from three. Kyrie Thomas, career high 24. And 11 rebounds at Northwestern, 16 against UCLA. The Baylor starting five, LeConte McClure, Omot Clark, and Luau Achuil. Uh, Big Joe going right around Crample on the baseline to score. What an improvement he's made since his junior year. Remember, he was the second banana to Jonathan Motley last year. But he's stronger, he's more confident, and he's still a wall in the back of that zone defensively. Got to play inside out. You cannot just shoot jump shots against the zone. Creighton looking for its first points. They're averaging 98 per game. Nice extra pass from Foster to Crumble just ahead of the shot clock. Yeah, and I don't care how you get the ball to the middle of the lane, but that's where you have to attack this defense from. Crumble, the sophomore from Slovenia, not to a great start this year. Creighton's on the board, 5-2. Guess who's guarding Manu Lacan? Kyrie Thomas. Big East Defensive Player of the Year last year. Exactly, along with Josh Hart of Villanova. But he's a shutdown corner type. Well, I you will throw an elbow. And that's going to be a foul against the Baylor Bears, and there's their head coach, Scott Drew. He's led Baylor to a school record four straight NCAA tournaments, seven overall, four Sweet 16s, including last year, and he's only 47. You know, it's an amazing, we've said it many times, one of the great rebuilding jobs in modern college basketball history. 15 years at Baylor, the only guy with as much tenure in the Big 12 as the guy in Lawrence, about 45 miles from here. Jake Lindsay into the ballgame for the first time for Baylor. He's number three in the neon. He's 6'6", so my, my, minus LeConte. This is a long defense. Foster can't hit for three. Achuil clears for the Bears, and LeConte lopes into the front court. Despite losing Jonathan Motley and Ish Wainwright, this is a veteran team for Baylor. And Lindsay's one of the vets. He's got it. Luau Achuil thought about the three, hesitated, then fires and misses. I don't think Greg McDermott would mind if he shoots a lot of those tonight, honestly, even though he made two last night. Harrell with the floater over the top of Big Joe. Very underrated player, Ronnie Harrell. First year as a starter. I think he made his first start last night, did he not? Yes, he did, and he had a career-high 15 boards. Yep, only 23 away from the single game record of Paul Silas, who went into the Hall of Fame here in Kansas City this weekend, the College Basketball Hall of Fame. That's the reason we're here in KC. It's been a great few days. Lacant from three, no good. Jays in transition. Wow. This is what they want to do. Look out. Foster to Thomas with the left hand. If you run like that, you don't have to worry about attacking the zone. And Creighton has its first lead. Jewel's pass is intercepted by Crumple. That was telegraphed all the way. Foster fade away. Wow, that was pretty. And a foul away from the ball against Baylor. 15-26 to go. It's been a great start. Great with a three-point lead. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by NABC. NABC, members serve as guardians of the game and the National Collegiate Basketball Hall of Fame, honoring the sports past and present. Domino's, two large pepperoni pizzas, please. Only Domino's let you earn piece of the pie rewards points when you order by phone, online, or when you order in store. We make it easy for you to earn free pizza any way you order. Girl, I say.
If only life would lean our way Well, you and me, we'd run away to be Wherever our adventure waits That moment when who you're going with is more important than where you're going. Wherever life takes us, we go together. Interwoven, exclusively at K, Jared, and Zales. Heineken has been family owned since 1873. They know about tradition. My favorite tradition? Ah, uh, you shouldn't have. Exchanging gifts. I actually bought these myself. <laughs> There's more behind the star. For 100 years, heritage and innovation have made Gillette the number one shave in America. Now get Gillette quality at lower prices every day. Brought to you by 1,200 workers in Boston. We're proud of giving you our best. Gillette, the best a man can get. Texans, Ravens, Monday, 8.15 Eastern on ESPN. Hall of Fame Classic Championship game. Baylor jumped out to a 5 0 lead. Now Creighton on an 8 0 run. Playing Fran back here in KC. And you were talking about beating that zone from the inside out. How are the Jays doing it? Well, first of all, you want to run against the zone before you set, before they can set up, get out and run. Look, there's no way Baylor can set up in the zone because of how they attack. And then once, once you run, and if you can't run anymore, you play from inside out. And the reason you do that is because if you settle for jump shots against this defense, you're shooting over an arm all the time. So when your ball gets to the paint, you're going to get fouled, you're going to get easy chances, and you're going to get the defense to collapse. Now when you kick it out to your shooters, they got a better opportunity to get a clean look at the rim. But Baylor must get back against this dangerous transition game of the Blue Jays. We just saw it. And during the run for Creighton, field goals by four different players. And this is a Jays team that has a lot of versatility. I, not down low and not on the front line like Baylor, but they can score it from everywhere. And that's going to be a violation on the end line as Thomas turns it over for Creighton. And they didn't turn it over a lot yesterday. Only eight in that fast tempo game against UCLA. Greg Dermott. McDermott, excuse me, has brought that style to Omaha, that up-tempo style. He has changed his philosophy throughout his coaching career. He's a chameleon, and that's a good sign for a coach to make adjustments based on the personnel he's able to attract. Vidal is in the game now. Mark Vidal, he's 11, and has it for Baylor. Crompel clears for Creighton. Davion Mintz had it blocked out of bounds. That time you saw Joe Luau out your will run back, be at the position to challenge that shot by Mintz. But you still love the way Creighton is pushing the basketball. Back to back top 25 wins over Northwestern and UCLA for Creighton. Only team in the country to beat two top 25 teams this year. Crumple, new shot clock for the Jays. They can be judicious with the new clock, but they've got to get the defense moving, and that's I like that. Tyshawn Alexander driving. When we talk about getting the ball inside, it doesn't necessarily mean throwing it to a big guy. That time the freshman saw the gap between the two zone defenders and took off for the paint. Tyshawn Alexander, another good-looking freshman. In fact, the reigning Big East freshman of the week. And he's off the bench for the Jays. Creighton got 40 points from the bench in the win yesterday. And I've got another candidate for next week's Big East freshman of the week. And he's not in the game yet, but he will be. Mitch Ballack. But Alexander and Ballack, two impressive freshmen in the early part of this season for Greg McDermott. Ballack, 22 points against UCLA. The freshman from Eudora, Kansas, who uh, was on the phone for a long time after the game yesterday. Family and friends in attendance, but he had a lot of people watching, too. Harrell with the rebound. Skip pass. 
floater doesn't go. In fact, it's a bad shot for Foster. He doesn't take many of them. He had 23 points for the third time this season already in yesterday's win, the K-State transfer. Now here's Vital backing down, back on the perimeter. Manu Lacant bumped by Suarez. The big man commits the foul. Smart move by Manu Lacant. Good help by Suarez. But you see, he took he took it right at Suarez's body because Suarez was moving. Picked up the foul. Lacant, who played on the Belgian national team this past summer against some great competition in European basketball. Certainly one of the best point guards in the Big 12. What did you call him? The, the Belgian waffle. <laughs> well, he's, he sits down. You, you could have called him the sprout from Brussels, I guess. That would have been well, worse. He, he sprouted up since yeah. his days when he transferred from Miami. Balak in the game now. Mom and Dad are here. He grew up just 40 miles away. And Eudora. Maston turns around. His jumper doesn't go. He gave Baylor good minutes yesterday. Luau will cleans it up for him and puts it back. That's a first basket in about oh, four and a half minutes for Baylor. It's now 9-7. Alexander for three. Yes, it rattles home. Inside out basketball versus the zone, just like we drew it up. Vital lobs it in for TJ Maston again. Nine points last night, all in the first half. Blocked this time, taken away by Foster. Excellent help defense, a lot of attention because they know he can score. Harrell over the shoulder pass. And that's an offensive foul on Ronnie Harrell. The Maui Invitational going on. Wichita State. 80 to 66 over Marquette in the championship game tomorrow on ESPN2. Either Notre Dame or LSU for him. Yeah, good matchup tonight. Notre Dame, one of the best teams in the country. Great inside, outside duo, Matt. Farrell and Bonzi Colson. How about this young man dribbling the basketball? Jake Lindsay, 20 assists so far this season, only one turnover. Baylor's goal, nine turnovers or less. They were able to do that yesterday. In and out. In transition. Driving. Alexander. And a foul. That's on Lindsay, number two on Jake. And that's going to send Alexander to the line. We're talking a little bit about Tyshawn. Played the last couple of years of high school at Oak Hill. And Greg McDermott, who's done a great job recruiting to Omaha. Yeah, it really has. It's, uh, you know, this is a school that was in the Missouri Valley recently, the Big East. Incredible crowds, great fan support. Some talk this summer that he would be the next coach at Ohio State. That lasted less than 24 hours. He's got a great athletic director, great athletic department, great facilities. And as you can see here in Kansas City, incredible fan support. 25 and 10 last year, finished third in the Big East. A one and done in the NCAA tournament. Well, remember then they were 17 and one, ranked number seven in the country when they lost Mo. Maurice Lucas and they were a definite contender to go deep in the tournament minus that injury to Mo. We just saw the athletic director of Creighton Bruce Rasmussen. He is the chair of the NCAA men's selection committee this year. Great help defense. King McClure on the baseline five to shoot his jump shot bounces around and off. And there is the pride of Eudora. Balak with the rebound. Balak for three. And the southpaw is a little strong, and Omat is able to clear it for Baylor. One of the things I want you to watch now, Clay, is there's a lot of white shirts in the paint, so scoring around the rim early in this game has not been easy. The help has been excellent to this point, and those guards are swarming when the ball goes inside as well. Shot clock again under 10. Lacan bounce pass inside to the freshman Tristan Clark. He better hurry up. Got it ahead of the buzzer. Off the window, Tristan Clark. Tell me that guy physically looks like a freshman. No, he doesn't. And again, when you think of Baylor, you think of all those terrific big guys through the years. There's five guys playing in the NBA right now 
that played at Baylor University, all the front court players. And Suarez, nice handoff, look out. Two hand jam for the Slovenian. Intercepted at center court. Baylor. Travel. Creighton will have it back when we come back. Under 11 to play in the first half. Jays by seven. Remember what we said. How do you beat this zone? Play from inside first. Take a look. Nice. Big to big inside. Well done. The transfer. Matty Suarez to the Slovenian. Crumple. Which university is recognized as one of the best in providing undergraduate research opportunities? Which university is an innovative leader in health sciences and business education and was named the top university in the Midwest 14 years in a row with more than 100 academic programs to develop your passions? And which university has a campus community engaged in social justice and service to others in our local neighborhoods and across the globe? This is more than an education. This is Creighton University. Hiring was always a huge challenge. Endless hours on job sites with not a lot to show for it. Then, I found ZipRecruiter. They figured out hiring. I post my job, they put it all over the web, and they send me the right people because their technology is smart. ZipRecruiter often sends me the right person in 24 hours. The smartest way to hire. ZipRecruiter, the preferred job site of college sports fans. Try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash yardage. You won't see these folks at the post office. They have businesses to run. They have passions to pursue. How do they avoid trips to the post office? Stamps.com. Mail letters. Ship packages. All the services of the post office right on your computer. Get a four-week trial plus $100 in extras, including postage and a digital scale. Go to stamps.com slash TV and never go to the post office again. It's a Phil Knight birthday bash with 16 teams, two tournaments, one time only. The PK-80 starts Thursday. Just a terrific couple of tournaments. Two brackets, North Carolina and Duke are in Portland, Florida, Gonzaga, Michigan State, some of the teams there. This is quite a show for Feastwood. Some great basketball. Every NBA team will be well represented there by three or four scouts. I'll tell you a team I love, and I'm going to see them in a couple weeks, the Florida Gators. They're not at full strength yet, but their freshmen are very precocious. They've got a terrific backboard. What matchup potentially in Portland would you savor the most? Florida, Florida Duke in that other bracket, the motion bracket. Love to see that. Michael White, one of the bright young coaches in America. The leader seven for Creighton. Baylor, they haven't received any points from their backcourt yet. I'll tell you what's happening. Uh, first of all, you got a lockdown corner on the best scorer, Mano Lacan. But the rest of the uh, Creighton defense is shrinking to the paint, and there is no room for uh, Joe Rual, Achuil, Clark, and Mastin to operate. It's a great strategy so far. There's Crumple missing the shot. King McClure tracks down the rebound for Baylor. Got to get some scoring out of McClure and Omont. Baylor coming off the win over Wisconsin, 4-0 on the year. Big Joe misses badly, saving it as Tristan Clark, but right into the hands of Thomas. Thomas has Balak with him, but they're going to wait for reinforcements. Alexander, pass across the paint, and there is Balak. With his first points, Mitch Ballack, who had 22 against UCLA. Baylor plays about 70% man early in the year. Last night, a lot of zone. Tonight, a lot of zone. Right now, they are carving up the zone, the Blue Jays. It's great ball movement inside. 
Suarez kind of knocked away, but Thomas is right there. And they're pushing tempo. Ballack wide open for three. Out of bounds. He's going to stay on this end. Remember we said Kyrie Thomas is a shutdown corner? Take a look right here. Some NFL team would love this guy. This shot, he comes up with the ball, and they hit the other way. And really, really good play right there. They moved in and attacked that zone really well. Crumple tore an ACL a couple of years ago, played sparingly last year. And that's off his hand, out of bounds. It'll go to Baylor. A tough look by Marcus Foster. He tried to, tried to throw that through the entire Baylor zone defense. You know, you talk to Greg McDermott, he'll tell you that Foster has matured so much under his watch since he's been at Creighton, but certainly since his time in Manhattan, Kansas, well, we, as Maston gets to. Yeah, we watched him a lot when he was a freshman and sophomore. He, he, to me, was one of the best freshmen to come into the Big 12 in the last decade. And then he lost his way. He got, he gained weight. He got a little big-headed. He thought he was better than he was. But the attitude has come around. He's just had a, a baby daughter in the last month. And he is one of the best players in the Big East. All Big East first sele team selection this year. He was amazing as a freshman. Yes, he was. At K-State because he came out of nowhere and then he forgot who he was. And he's regained that uh, humility, if you will, and the talent level's grown. Manu Lukai, no points for him. Shot clock at three. Achuil goes in, misses the shot from in close. And Crompo with another rebound for Creighton. Remember, when he's shooting jump shots, he's not offensive rebounding. How about the ball to Harrell, and the reverse doesn't go. Look pretty, though. McClure is bumped. Alexander with the foul. First on Tyshawn. Paul Silas went into the Hall of Fame Sunday night. You were the host. Great thrill for me. And, uh, you know, just a great class this year. Paul Silas, one of the eight new inductees. The whole reason we're here in Kansas City uh, to celebrate the 2017 class the College Basketball Hall of Fame. You know, what, you know how much of a junkie I am to get a chance to hang with Tim Duncan and John Stockton, R.J. Williams. So many, you know, Cleo Hill was an outstanding player at Winston-Salem State. Great defense. It's smothering right now. McClure got it. Now Baylor is able to save that possession. Hey, right now, anything they can get that's of an easy nature is important because they've had to work for everything. Lead is five for the Jays. Seven and a half to go here in the first. Morell. Guards got it. It's not just a school to me, it's home. Home. Everyone's there to help you and to see you succeed. Challenging. Challenging. You know, like, I'm here, I can do this. Friends. Friendship. Hegner injury out three to six with an ankle. As Manu Lacant gets his first two points, Thomas answers back on the other end. I'll tell you what happened. Lacant got all the way to the rim and he beat Thomas, but he was so far under, he wasn't able to get back in transition. When your point guard drives all the way to the basket, you must have two players get back and protect the other basket. There's another steal. Foster sailing in. Thomas got it in one. That was a clinic on hustling. And it was the two players who represent what Creighton is this year. Two excellent wing players playing off each other well. Hustle is a skill. It's not just a school to me, it's home. home. Everyone's there to help you and to see you succeed. Challenging. Challenging. You're like, I'm here, I can do this. Friends. Friendship. Relationships. There's people that know you and people that are there for you around every corner. It's the shared experience. Rigorous growth. Transformative. Tradition. Tradition. Faith. Faith. I've loved every second of it.
It's family. It's home. It's Baylor. With the mini Epic Experience Pass, you get more out there, more in here, and here. More memories, more off the grid, more zen, more moments to discover, more of what matters. Right now, get a mini Epic Experience Pass, plus up to $1,500 cash off, select 28. Our planet was a true paradise. We lived in harmony with the elements until the day of the apocalypse. Agents Valerian and Laureline, you have less than 10 hours to find the threat and eliminate it. Check Fios first for the newest releases to instantly rent did you hear that? That's someone saving really f***ing big on their new vehicle. Get Station Chrysler Jeep of Mansfield. Like a new Jeep Cherokee. Lease it for $206 a month during the Black Friday sales event. Or lease a new Jeep Grand Cherokee for $256 a month. So the next time you hear this, it means saving a whole f***ing lot of these. Visit us next to the Mansfield train station. Station Chrysler Jeep. Brick and Seth with a studio update on the SEC Network. UT Arlington here, Coach, giving 25th-ranked Alabama a fight tonight. Eric Neal averaging 10 and a half assists a game, dropping a dime to Link Kabayundi. Arlington's for real. Kevin Hervey, 6'9", can make buckets. The Bama 3 has put the tide in front. Matt Farrell looking to build on his career-high 27-point performance against Chaminade. Notre Dame and LSU coming up Maui Invitational over on ESPN, guys. Creighton's lead is nine here in Kansas City. Six and a half to go here in the first half. How about UT Arlington? That's bad scheduling by Alabama. I know they're in a dogfight right now. That's one of the best mid-majors in the country. They just swamped BYU in Provo. And remember these two names, Kevin Hervey, Eric Neal. Kevin Hervey's a 6'9 NBA prospect, and Eric Neal, one of the best and quickest point guards in the entire country. Well, Thomas is at the foul line. Complete a three-point play, and he will try to create the leading by nine despite make a ten, despite shooting one of seven from behind the arc, and only two points from Foster. And, and that, that is, that's exactly my point. They haven't had to rely on outside shooting to attack this zone. It's been mostly inside. Mastin get pop one in off the window. The other thing about Creighton's game here tonight, friend out rebounding Baylor by seven even though they've got a decided height advantage due to Bears. Well, one of the reasons that is is because they're packing those white jerseys inside the three-point line and all their bodies are close to the rim. They have not made it easy for Baylor to get the ball inside minus that really good possession right out of the timeout. Five to shoot Harrell to Suarez. He'll take that baseline jumper and it bounces off. Suarez, the 24-year-old transfer, one of the oldest players in the country in college basketball. Started his career at Fordham University, and you don't see a Division II transfer transfer to Division I very often. Jake Lindsay, who all you will, hesitated, then drives and finishes with the left How hand. How about that? Have we seen an arsenal this last game and a half from Big Joe? Seven foot six year senior from Australia, Foster, which is Australian for beer, missed the three. Five minutes to go here in the first half. You would think it would be easy to shoot threes against this zone, but that length challenges you out there. So I love the strategy. Mintz didn't come up with it, but he got inside. And I, I, Greg McDermott's got to like that attack. Look at this defense. This is a great matchup. Lindsey around Davion Mintz. The pass on the baseline thrown up by Vital. And it's going to be a foul against the Blue Jays. 
going to get Suarez for his second. Watch Big Joe. He was thinking about shooting this jumper right here. They gave it to him. He thinks. He thinks. He goes, you know what? I'm going to show you. I got some ball skills. Nicely done. Mark Vidal, the redshirt freshman, goes to the line. First free throws for Baylor tonight. And this is not this young man's strength. It's not really a great outside shooter, but a terrific athlete. Let's see, Jake Lindsay pocket something off, it appeared. And remember, he was he was playing with two fouls as well. Lindsay, of course, the son of Utah Jazz GM Dennis Lindsay. They're playing Baylor bingo with that one. Thomas for three. I'll tell you, Marcus Foster is a first team all Big East. I think the most important player on this team and one of the best two-way players in the Big East, if not college basketball, is Kyrie Thomas. He's got 10. Maston. See that knee? Master was able to pass out of it. But caught, bounce pass, it was kicked unintentionally by Kyrie Thomas. But we get a stoppage with 3.41 to go here in the half. Creighton leading. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Lowe's. Hurry in today for huge savings on all things winter. And Corona Extra, find your beach. Every time four o'clock is close enough to five, a Corona gets its line. Every time the band goes on, or every time you say, wow, and every time you take those off and you decide it's time to turn off, a Corona gets its line. Hi. Well, honey, I said sweet potatoes. Yes, you did. I forgot the shrimp. Shrimp? An apple pie. Dad likes pecan. Oh, well, in that case, I can. Love to drive? Visit your Infinity retailer for leases starting at $289 a month during the Start Your Own Legacy winter sales event. Infinity, empower the drive. It's the ultimate sleep number week on the only bed that adjusts on both sides to your ideal comfort, your sleep number setting. Does your bed do that? Right now, save 50% on the ultimate limited edition bed. Ends Monday. Visit sleepnumber.com for a store near you. This is the inaugural PK-80, an exciting new tournament featuring 16 top-tier teams. Oh, a spectacular slam. That is big time. The PK-80 tips Thanksgiving Day at 2.30 on ESPN. Coming up, Land Rover Halftime Report. Michael Porter Jr. done for the season for Missouri, plus UCLA and Wisconsin going down to the wire. And how about this Creighton team tonight? Kyrie Thomas, the only player in double figures, would tend to lead the way. They can play fast. They're also showing that they can play slow. Get the ball in the middle of that gap, make good passes, knock down shots. And they're an elite defensive team. They're active and alert defensively. They had nine assists for 11 field goals. Very complete team. Big East, seven teams in the NCAA tournament. All right, we'll see you at the half. All right, Brick, thank you very much. The winner of this one will be out to a great start, 5-0 on the year. Play Mantic Fran Fischilla here in Kansas City. That game earlier tonight was absolutely fantastic. The third place game between UCLA and Wisconsin. Big win, big win for UCLA. And uh, how about Aaron Holiday taking over down the stretch, 14 of 18 points and 10 late. Great defense by Creighton here in the first half. Watch the smothering D. Watch the harassment. It starts with on-ball pressure by Kyrie Thomas. Take a look. He's hounding Manu Lacant all night. 
They switch smartly, but the paint is packed right now. This kind of harassment in Kansas City, this is a misdemeanor right here. <laughs> you can get in trouble for this. Excellent, excellent half-court man-to-man defense. You've got to get on a jail free card just about every town in America, though. <laughs> this is, have to watch, watch this matchup. This is awesome on the ball. Five to shoot for Lacan. He's a long way from the hoop. Luau Achuil throws it into the corner. I don't think McClure sees it. Shot clock violation. And that is because Kyrie Thomas hounded the quarterback to the point where he had to give it up late in the clock. And when you think of the Big East and a year ago, you talk to the coaches in the league and they'll tell you he had to guard Trayvon Blewett. He had to guard Jason Hart. He had to guard point guards. He even guarded last year Nigel Hayes at Wisconsin in non-conference. Outstanding defender. Balak, the pass to Crumple. Foster from three. Marcus Foster. Where'd that ball go, Clay? Inside and then back out. The lead is a dozen. Biggest lead of the game for Creighton. Wow, Achuil lost it. Might have been stripped. Nice. Another man wide open. That time Thomas can't hit. See what they've done? They've executed the game plan perfectly. They're running before the zone can set up, and then they're playing inside to out. Maston spinning. Blocked by Ballack. Luau at you will was able to get the stick back and draw the foul, and he'll go to the line. I know you mentioned. Hall of Fame induction class a little bit ago. I want to go back to it and again congratulate everyone that goes in in 2017, including our own Jay Williams, who had a great, great career at Duke. Two-time national player of the year, of course, played for a national championship team for Coach K. He's in studio again tonight. To, yep. Just a great, great class. And, we're so happy that Jay's Jay. a part of it and a part of our team. Yeah, Jay and his family were here, and I've known that young man. I call him a young man because he is. He is. And I've known him since he was a sophomore at St. Joe's of Metuchen, and what a player he was and great friend and colleague. Two minutes on the screws to go here in the first half. Creighton with the lead, 31-22. Ty John Alexander. A pass. Too hot to handle for Crumble. Here come the Baylor Bears. This is a great matchup. Keep your eye on Thomas and Lacan. Thomas is really best analogy I can give you. He is a shutdown corner. McClure, and that's going to be a goal tip. Baylor needs that from King McClure. When you're a shooting guard, by nature, you have to be a scorer. And if you're not making jumpers, you've got to get some easy baskets. And he drove it to the rim right there. And you see the goal 10 basket interference. Big possession for Baylor. They need a stop and a score. Baseline. Doesn't go for Foster. Big Joe is able to gather it in. Look at that. Wow. Ready to play, 10 to shoot. The con strip, here comes Creighton, two on one. Thomas, the follow by Foster. Good night. Clay, forget the points. Kyrie Thomas is dominating this basketball game single-handedly on the defensive end. Look at his harassment of the ball. This is a good point guard. McClure with two to shoot. Offensive foul. The tone has been set by Kyrie Thomas, and I just want you to watch the steal there and then the ball pressure. 
has been enormous tonight, and it's taken Baylor out of any half-court offense. That was the 11th turnover for Baylor here in the first half. 15 seconds to go in the half. Creighton leading. You won't see these folks at the post office. They have businesses to run. They have passions to pursue. How do they avoid trips to the post office? Stamps.com. Mail letters. Ship packages. All the services of the post office right on your computer. Get a four-week trial plus $100 in extras, including postage and a digital scale. Go to stamps.com slash TV and never go to the post office again. Up by nine, they're going to have the basketball here. Chance to take the last shot. Yeah, and to me, I don't even care about the points. I don't care if they score. This guy's dominating the game on the defensive end because what he's doing is he's making it so uncomfortable for Mono Lacan to get them into their offense. He's a disruptor. If he, he's got the 10 points, I like that. Foster's good, but the defense has been enormous. You highlighted Luau Achuil and Lacan at the top of the broadcast. Each of those bears have been turned over three times. Yeah, and, and you know what? They're crowding the big fella, but they're dominating the point guard with the defense. Alexander for three. With Joe to Lacan to Lacan to the goes. We're at the half. 33-24, the Creighton Blue Jays out to a great start here tonight, just down the road from Omaha. Trying to go to 5-0. and oh. We now send it to the studio. John Brickley, Seth Greenberg, and the Hall of Famer, Jay Williams. Clay, Fran, thank you very much as we welcome you into the Land Rover Halftime Report. Let's get to the action and start with Wisconsin and number 23 UCLA. Two programs needing an early win this season. Three minutes to play. Mm, Ethan Happ pairing this Badgers program. Put him in the washing machine. Ethan Happ doing what he does. Your guy, the big fundamental. How about Aaron Holiday just carrying UCLA down the stretch? Yeah, and Aaron Holiday scores the last 10 points for UCLA at the end of the game. Put it in your seniors' hands, give him a high bump, and let him make plays. Took it to, to the left that time, then he rejected it the next time for the game one. Wisconsin just really struggled guarding that ball screen. And Aaron Holiday, when he was able to come off it, he just zigzags and always finds room to get to the rim. Big time play. Bro. Happy holiday for UCLA. They come away victorious 72 well to done, 70 well as done. the Badgers, two and three for the first time through five games since Bo Ryan, part of that Hall of Fame class with UJ in his first year. Number 25, Alabama taking on UT Arlington. This game on the SEC Network. And this one turning into a battle. And Bama going with Avery Johnson Jr. from the corner. Avery Johnson Jr. makes that big shot. Colin Sexton taking over, taking over this game, but UT Arlington, Eric Neal, 11 assists, one of the best playmakers in college basketball. Kevin Hervey, a 6'9 forward, can flat score for Arlington. We talked so much, Jay, about all these other SEC teams, so where does Alabama fit in the picture? I think Alabama's the next tier. I think, I think they're, they're, they're up there. They're but I'd say the yeah, they're a tournament team. I don't know if they're in the upper echelon, but they're, they could work themselves into that conversation. All right, let's stay in the SEC. Some bad news pertaining to Missouri star freshman Michael Porter Jr. Undergoing back surgery, likely out for the remainder of the season. Rated as the number two freshman this season. How do we take this news, Jay? It, it is what it is. I mean, uh, I feel bad for the kid. But at the end of the day, uh, people are going about their business, and he needs to be about his business, and that's taking care of his body. We're talking about a guy who potentially could be worth over $200 million. Just getting healthy is his priority. Family misses a shared experience. Dad is his assistant coach. His brother, Jonte, is also on the team. Actually graduated early and reclassified. But moving forward from Missouri, they're going to have to sh they'll struggle a little bit. Look, Michael Porter is an elite player. He's a guy that makes everyone else on the floor better. But Jeremiah Tillman can defend the post. He can run. He can rebound. Young and raw. Kevin Perrier is back. He's their leading scorer right now. Jonte Porter is a very good player. They are just on the outside. They're going to They'll have a shot at an NCAA tournament still with this young team. Yeah, that was your wild card in the SEC, mm -hmm. Missouri. Tough news for them and Michael Porter Jr. All right, elsewhere in the Maui Invitational, LSU going up against Notre Dame for a chance to go 
to the title game. Rex they saw Luger. Wichita State. And how about Matt Farrell? Off the career high 27 points against Chaminade. It's Matty Ice Farrell. <laughs> I'm telling you, this kid is a stud. He's one of the most underrated players in the nation. They play with great spacing. All right, so the game earlier, sixth ranked Wichita State and Marquette. Marcus Howard led the way with the Golden Eagles, 25 points. But the story for Wichita State. To me, it's Rashard Kelly. Played so hard. He was active. He challenged plays at the rim. He came up with 50 50 balls. Look, Shaq Morris and Ch uh, Landry Shamit scored, but Rashard Kelly, he makes plays. Yeah. And give Wichita State a lot of credit for their perimeter oriented defense in this, this game in particular. They held Marquette to 9 of 33 from the three point line. All right, so the Shockers improving to 4 and 0 on the season. They're moving on to the title game. Texas A&M, we're talking SEC. House the Aggies, house. impressive in Brooklyn against Penn State. Highlights, other side of the break. Don't bang on them. Don't bang on them. This halftime report is presented by Land Rover, above and beyond. 